Garukara mother, respect. Now, Sakkara means honor. Garukara means respect. It is something similar to uh, honor. Uh, I think honor and respect, they are two things in a way. Uh, some people are well respected. Uh, earlier, some people are highly uh, honored. But here, some people are highly respected. Just because you are highly respected, uh, do not condemn other people. Also, do not misuse your respect. Some people can misuse their respect. Isn't it? When you are highly respected, you might probably misuse that respect from other people. So we have to be very careful whether you are uh, misusing that respect or whether you are just simply appreciative about that respect and the, the thing that you are creating with that respect is going to be helpful, beneficial to other people's life. Let's think about the Buddha's life uh, because we just passed the Vesak day, right? I hope that you spend your Vesak day really well, not just uh, offering uh, things to the Buddha, but also trying to pledge to the Buddha that we are going to follow the Buddha's path. I think you know that story, right? Bhante Dhammarama story. Bhante Dhammarama. There was a monk called Bhante Dhammarama. This is given in the Mahaparinibbana Sutta and some other uh, Dhammapada stories. When the Buddha said that I would pass away in three months, there was one monk called Dhammarama uh, who was not, uh, two other monks, not, not very much worried, worrying about Buddha's in, uh, upcoming passing away. They were unenlightened monks. So they told the Buddha, until there was a monk, there is a monk, who is not worried about your passing away. The Buddha knows what is going on. But to him, they don't, to them, they don't know. And then uh, the Buddha asks uh, him to come. So they send a message to him. The Buddha is calling you. He came in. And then uh, the Buddha asks, do you have anything to say about uh, their comment? Then he said, yes. Uh, I know that you already, uh, you know, thought and told that you would pass away in three months. So I'm thinking to give the best respect to you. The best respect to you is to become a, an arahant before you pass away. And then the Buddha said, sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then he added onto that statement that those people who are only Offering me flowers, garlands, joysticks, water, food are not who are only, uh, who are only, don't misunderstand, who are only giving me these things are not truly following, truly respecting me, respect. But those of them who are offering at the same time, more importantly, trying to follow what I found out throughout many sansaric life. Practice the Noble Eightfold Path, thereby attaining Nibbana, are the ones who are respecting me in the best way. Right? That is what the Buddha said. We should not end up only by offering things to because he doesn't need these things. He doesn't need any of these things. This is our respect. What he wanted us to do is that someone is going to benefit from my endeavors that I went through for many, 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 many sansaric life. Lots of pain, suffering. So while respecting this way, we have to more importantly, more importantly, what he asked us to practice. So uh, he never uh, became intoxicated with the uh, respect. So we have to learn that. So we, we are not supposed to be intoxicated by any of the respect we are having. 